Now we've got a maximum pressure campaign uh, that, that is strangling the regime. Their economy is contracting dramatically. Mm -hmm. The people of Iran are upset. They're protesting. They have been protesting for some time. They've been brutally put down in Tiananmen Square style massacres that the press has not been covering. Not to consider it. The press does everything it can to cover. We, it, it is a very difficult country to cover. It, it, it is. Okay, because this, it, is not a, this is not a press trying to admit things here. I'd it, like it, not that to be a shot at us. It, it, Welcome back, everyone. Before we start damaging our souls with more media madness, I just wanted to tell you all about a live panel discussion that I'll be doing tonight. It'll include American Joe, Douglas Dakota Sr., That's the Point with Brandon, who you all know as Antifa's worst nightmare, SJG Perspective, Patriot Hour, and Robert Noir. We'll be gathering to discuss the enemy of the people, Virginia, Iran, and a variety of other topics. Join us here at 10 p.m. Eastern, hang out, and enjoy the conversation. I hope to see you all there. The people of Iran are upset. They're protesting. They have been protesting for some time. They've been brutally put down in Tiananmen Square style massacres that the press has not been covering. Not to consider it. Press does everything it can to cover. We, it, it is a very difficult country to cover. It, it, it is okay? because this is, it, not a, this is not a press trying to omit things here. I'd like not that to be a shot at us. Fuck <laughs> you, Chuck. You know, I went looking for any mention by MSNBC about Soleimani being responsible for the deaths of at least 1,500 Iranian protesters. I found nothing, and definitely nothing from Chuck Todd. That's the media omitting information that's inconvenient to their anti-Trump narrative. No, I'm sorry, the press really hasn't done the best that they can do when it comes to reporting what the Iranian government is doing to its own people. The response from the media ever since we took out this scumbag has been to paint him as a hero of a unified Iran. When in reality, much of Iran hates Salami because he was responsible for the slaughter of thousands of Iranian protesters. While I and others have been talking about this topic for the last couple weeks, you and the media have done your best to pretend like it never happened. There's really nothing difficult about reminding your viewers about information that was reported by Reuters back in December. The truth is that information is inconvenient to your agenda. An authoritarian right. regime and, and they, they shut down the internet and, and we get, there, there are more questions about what the United States is doing to try and help the people of Iran uh, than necessarily what the regime is doing. We took out the, a commander of another country's army um, and to call him a terrorist, then, then at that point, then if you are calling him a terrorist, then isn't everybody in that regime a terrorist? <laughs> Iran is one of the world's leading state sponsors of terror, Chuck. They control many proxy terrorist armies around the world that they use against U.S. interests and our allies using terrorist tactics. Every single one of their proxy armies targets civilian populations. Their focus on civilian targets is one of the main reason they're all designated terrorist organizations. Targeting embassies is the act of terrorists, not the actions of an organized army. Now, to be fair, you could make an argument that the Quds Force is just a special operations group within the military. U.S. Special Forces might accidentally hit civilians sometimes but we're not targeting them specifically that's what the Quds Force does along with their proxy armies like Hezbollah and Hamas what's Todd's end goal here exactly a PR makeover for an authoritarian regime that slaughters its own people and pays terrorists to kill Americans who else is paying Chuck besides the Democrat Party well, well in this case the Quds Force the IRGC Quds Force which operates outside of Iran and foments revolution and terrorism in, in Yemen, in Syria, where 500,000 people have been killed, in Lebanon with Hezbollah, uh, in Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that, that organization has been designated legally as a terrorist organization. Soleimani was the head of it. Bingo! In 2007, the Quds Force was designated a terrorist organization because they provide material support to U.S. designated terrorist organizations. And for that matter, Salami was under a travel ban by the U.N. and yet flaunted it for years, going wherever he wanted. He was asking for it. And now I'm reading that we had the go-ahead to kill Salami for the last seven months. Clearly, Chuck's main concern here is that this could all be a win for Trump. I also wanted to quickly touch on this New York Times journalist comparing criticism of fake journalists from Trump to the torture and imprisonment of journalists in Iran. Let reporters roam free, says the president, who routinely refers to the U.S. press as enemy of the people to Iranian leaders. 
Thankfully, and it gives me a little faith in the world, she's been rightfully mocked and ratioed for her self-important angsty whining. If the media is so concerned about being labeled the enemy of the people, perhaps they should stop acting like it. Parroting Iranian state propaganda to prop up a dead terrorist isn't a good look. Inciting political violence against your political opposition is not a good look. Constantly lying and dividing the country in service of protecting and promoting one political party over the other, while at the same time claiming to be hard-hitting objective journalists is not a good look. Lastly, blaming Trump for the increasing lack of trust in the media is yet more deception that leads people to believe you are the enemy of the people. Thanks for watching, everyone. Just another reminder, tonight, January 13th at 10 p.m. Eastern, be here for a live panel discussion on the enemy of the people, Iran, and a host of other topics. I hope to see you all there. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.